Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Welcome to Stung by Samantha. My name is Samantha, and I do fitness, fashion, and beauty for women over 50. And this video I am so excited about. This is my three part series. This is my third video that I have done on flat hair and how to get volume. Now, the first video that I did, I don't think I had menopausal hair thinning in that time. I had just turned 50, and really the hair loss started happening. 52, 53, okay, so now I am 53 and it is so thin and yes, I work really, really hard. Now I'm gonna put a link to video one and video two because I think all of them are helpful, but this is definitely my most updated and I'm gonna be using a specific tool in this video to give this flat, fine hair some volume and this you don't have to be in menopause for this anybody can use this tool so let's get started with this video okay let's do it okay so the first thing is I just got out of the shower and washed my hair so I know a lot of people say don't wash your hair that often if you have thin fine hair but you know to be perfectly honest I have night sweats hot flashes all the time and you know, I gotta wash my hair and I work out like a crazy animal. So yeah, I gotta wash my hair. So yeah, I try not to wash it every day, but honestly like the ritual of washing it is really enjoyable to me and I use sulfate free shampoo so I feel like I'm not damaging it too much. So today I like literally just shampoo and condition and I don't use a very heavy conditioner even though my ends are dry. I did do a mask today and I thought it kind of worked on those dry edges, but you know, I do the best that I can. All right, let's get into the video. Now, this is my hair. Let me see, oh, I thought I had another mirror there. This is my little hair. So I just parted it right down the middle to show you. I have some serious new growth, but that's okay. I like, I like that look. I'm gonna get my hair done soon. I like when I add bleach to my hair because I feel like it makes my hair more voluminous. And oh, if you guys can hear airplanes, the Blue Angels are outside in San Francisco flying like right above my house um, and it's sleep week. So if you hear that, just excuse. But anyway, I like adding bleach because I feel like it adds some texture and some structure to my hair. As a matter of fact, my hair has looked flatter, but today it doesn't look as flat, but it still looks pretty damn flat. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're gonna do is a dry shampoo or a texturizing shampoo. I don't care what kind you have, um, just put something in there because it's dry, clean hair is not gonna hold anything. So if we're gonna do this style, by the way, what is the style you guys are probably asking? Okay, okay, let's rewind. I am using the Volume today. This is my all time favorite styling tool for fine thin hair. Okay, so it's got this waffle pattern gonna go into the hair and section it off and make a little waffle pattern then hide it with our part so I wear a middle part so if you guys do a side part we're gonna have to switch it around but I will show you that in a minute I turned it on let me turn her on she's so good um, she heats up really really fast and she has a lock I'm just gonna leave that there of course I'm having a hot flash right now Where's my fan? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna power through it because that's what we do, right? We power through our hot flashes. All right, getting back to the tutorial. This is the only thing that works for fine thin metal puzzle hair. Trust me, I have done everything. I've watched every video just like you guys and nothing really works except for this. I'm not even gonna put the brown shampoo that I use, I mean, sorry, the brown dry shampoo on my part because I'm not even worried about that today. I just wanna show you how to get volume on the hair. So, first, dry shampoo just to get texture back in. And get that all over the hair. Under, you know where it's flat for me? In the back. So, yeah. Just let that whole thing, and let that chill out for a minute, and then we're gonna shake it out. I'm gonna get another mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing. So that automatically gives some body and some boom to our hair, but for me, this is gonna like fall out in a hot minute. So now, welcome to the balloon. Let me make sure I, un don't you hate when it gets all tangly like this? That totally stresses me out. So let's get, get rid of those. All right, cool. I do like how it has this little hook, so you can hook it, 
you know, that's pretty nice, right? It does come with a cute little bag and some clips, but I'm not gonna use any clips today. So what I like to do is I like to take my wet brush. My head is itching. I like to take my wet brush, and now my part's gonna stay in the middle, so I'm gonna part it off, this little section. Actually, let me just do that. And that's where I'm gonna put my balloon little waffle print. And what that waffle print does, think crimping, I've done videos like this before. Do you see what it just did to my hair? It gives it like this really good texture. Just right at the root for a couple of seconds. And that is it. Now already you guys can see, I'm gonna put a little in the back here. I love this thing so much. And you can already see what I'm doing. Now I like to take another part. I just messily use my hands and I go under and do the second layer. And just like a couple, like I don't even, I kind of stay right away from the front because I don't want to see the waffle pattern right there. Now if you wanted to get dramatic, you could do like the whole under bits. It's hard to do the back, but I'll show you that later. And there you go. So already you're gonna be able to see a little bit of difference. Just there's more like poofiness on this side. So let's go ahead, messily do the other side. So part it off. Maybe I'm just going to speed this part up so you guys don't have to go through this whole thing with me. doesn't take that long you guys so then this is how I do the back now that's where it gets a little bit complicated and also you could spray your hair down right now if you wanted to but we also know that us thin fine haired babes uh, get our hair down way down very easily by any product so you want to be careful how much product you want to put enough product that the hairstyle actually grips because it's not like slipping and sliding, but you don't want to put too much product that it's going to weigh your hair down. So I think we're doing good right here. Okay, so already you can see I have some pretty major volume. And then when I style it, girl, and the best thing, I haven't done the back yet, but the best thing about this Volum iron is that the next day it's even bigger. I know that sounds like a dream come true, but when you sleep on it and you wake up, your hair is even more full. And let me go ahead and show you how I do the back. It's a little unconventional, but this, this is how it works for me. So, I'm gonna comb all my hair forward. I look like Cousin It. And then I'm going to even grab this front piece, because this is what's gonna lay down on the back of my head, this front piece. So I'm gonna even bring that forward. So kind of like do a full on comb to the front as far as you can go. And then these pieces in the back, this is already after my hair has fallen. So I'm ideally these front flat pieces are gonna cover that waffle iron print. So I start doing it like this. A little crazy, right? I'll do this so you guys can actually see me. And then I just, when it's done, I flip it over to the front. And of course you guys can um, tie it. I'm not, I just don't like tying things off. And I'm gonna do one right underneath. And then again, I flip it over, and I'm actually gonna do the very last piece on the bottom here. I wonder if I can show you how I actually do this. Let me try. God knows how. Ah. So I flip it in sections, and so ah, this is the back section. Do you see that big wave? And then I just did like, section by section. And now you're thinking, what about these parts? You can just kind of like play around with it. Flip it all back. Oh my God, I have so much volume, you guys, right now. I'll show you what we're gonna do to make it work so you won't be able to see the waffle that much.
That's like amp music from um, Adam and the Ants. Amp music. Okay, Adam Ant was my favorite growing up. And um, yeah, I'm sure you guys had a favorite too. Okay, so now we have the majority of the style. Girl, the hair is big. Now I'm gonna turn off my iron because I don't wanna burn the house down, A, but B, I wanna style it now. It's got this cool lock on it. I really love this. Um, so now I'm just gonna let my hair chill because now the thing is you want to let your hair cool down before you start styling because today I'm gonna style with a Dyson Corral, which is my favorite iron, my favorite tool ever and um, get some waves in here and then spray it all down with some good hairspray. And then we're gonna have some serious volume. And like I said, you're gonna have volume tomorrow too. So you're gonna sleep, wake up in the morning. So if I can go a couple of days without washing my hair, that's what I'm gonna do. And this is going to give me serious volume. Now you guys, again, nothing else works. I'm sorry, I tried every single vitamin. I take biotin and yeah, those do help a little bit. I'm not going to say they don't work completely. Um, I have not tried minoxidil. That's one thing I have not tried because I'm afraid of the shedding process that is supposed to happen before. But as far as I'm concerned, the Volume works wonders. It works miracles. If you are used to hot tools already, this is going to be so easy. You might not even have to do as much of this as I'm doing today because I like to get dramatic with it. But if you have shorter hair, it will probably take you five minutes. So now my hair is cooling a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and get my middle part because you guys know I like to rock a middle part and just comb her out with a wet brush because the reason that I like to use a wet brush is it is not going to pull your hair out. These are a dream brush for people with fine, thin hair. Um, you guys write a note below if your hair like thinned out and what what's the percentage that you feel like your hair thinned out because I feel like my hair thinned out maybe 20% which is maybe even 30% like it's so much thinner and then of course you can see my scalp and that's where I'm going to show you what you can do about this scalp showing in this video. I'll put a video link right here so you guys can click on the video showing how I get rid of these parts to make my hair look a lot thicker. But now let's do the styling. But already you guys, like if you wanted to like straight iron it and like get the frizzies out and then just style it like this, it would be great. But of course I'm gonna do some waves with the Dyson Corral. So let me go get my iron and then let's get to it. Okay, this is my Dyson Corral. It is my most favorite tool that I own. Um, me and my daughter both share this and she goes on a higher, she goes to 410. She shouldn't be on 410, but I go to 365. It's a straightening iron, but I use it to curl and I'm sure you guys all have curled your hair with a straightening iron before. And if you have not, let me go ahead and show you how I do it. So I simply section off and like I said, I don't have a lot of hair. I don't tend to usually section off with big clips, but I'm gonna go, oh, did it beep yet? to wait for it to beep. Did it beep? I didn't hear it beep. Oh, there it beeped. Okay. So I'm just going to take the hair. First of all, I like to just straighten it out before I curl it. And then I just flip it, pull it nice and slow. I like to leave the end pieces out because that's my own personal style. And there we go. So we're just going to go through the head like that. I did just trim my bangs. I didn't want to do the curtain bangs. I wasn't like fully committed, but I did trim like three inches off or two inches off. My bangs used to be all the way down to here. Oops, mess this one up. Samantha, let's go over it again. I probably should have put my contacts in. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm testing out all these new bifocal contacts. So the first pair of bifocal contacts I had, like I could see really, really, really great far and close, but then by the middle of the day, the distance was getting a little blurry. So my doctor was like, let's try a different type. Let's not give up. And um, so now I have one that I can see far, but then when I look at my phone, I can see it when the text is really big, but I can't like look at a medicine bottle when it's really small. So I think I'm gonna have to go back and try another bifocal contact. But I love the idea of a bifocal contact. It's just really, really cool. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna keep on doing my hair and then I will come back and show you 
the finished result because you won't be able to see the waffle print and you'll be pretty impressed that I did this hairstyle. Now, usually when I do these curls, I can get out of the house really quick, but I'm talking to you guys, so I'm gonna turn this off, curl my hair, and come right back. Okay, when we get to the top of the hair, I really wanted to focus, so I kind of move pieces over and get into the under pieces, because this is really where your hair is gonna show volume at the root, right? So I like turn and flip the iron, and that's just kind of to get that bump right there. I'm not even really worried about a curl. I just want that bump, right? Like that. Because I want the, the height right here, so I'm really focusing on that. Pull this. Then you can kind of go in and like zhuzh how you like your hair. Like I like my hair to come down straight right in the front. And then again in that back bit, I'm gonna pull these pieces. The back is really obviously hard because you can't see what you're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the iron and flip it up. That's gonna give it the volume. And then obviously when I'm doing a curl, I just turn the iron over and pull, pull, pull. And then I like to flip it and then let it cool. Again, working my way all the way down the back of the head. It is a little bit difficult to do it, but listen, we've all been doing this our whole life. Now you can just use a regular curling iron, but I was also thinking like I got Velcro curlers. And I thought like after I use the balloon, how cool would that be to put like Velcro cur curlers in after the balloon and then just kind of let that dry. It looks so good, right? gonna go a little bit more on the back working my way down kind of guessing because I can't see and then going in there and getting that bump all right I don't even really care if it's curling the back as much I kind of just like a wave now whew, this is what we're working with right now so I am going to like this is where I'll look at the bottom and I'll say mm, even a little bit more curl right there. Let me add a little bit more curl. And this is where you're doing all your zhuzhing. Because the iron's really hot right now, so you can go in there and clean up. Like I have these little extra pieces. So I'm gonna clean those guys up. I really love how my stylist did like, see how it's half blonde, half brown right there? I love that dimension of color. All right, so now that I have all of my curls done, and again, like I said, you guys can go in and use Velcro curlers, you can use a curling iron, anything that you're really interested in. If you don't like, oh, I gotta fix this piece. If you don't like the method that I use of curling my hair, just anything that you like that you feel comfortable with, or you can just like, honestly, just straight iron your hair and then just keep the, the volume up top. All right, I'm gonna start spraying my hair and combing it out and then we're gonna start styling this hair a bit. You're gonna wanna let it cool a little bit because that is what's gonna hold the curl. Now at this point, oh my God, you guys, my light is coming in and out and I like talked about this in my last video, I need to get full lights, but I have so no room in my apartment. Like I'm like sleeping like right there and like all my stuff, it's just, I need my own room to film and get a new camera. That would be a dream, but it's coming. It's coming. You know what I really want to do, you guys? I want to quit my regular job and just do this full time. Like I, there's a part of me that just wants to go for it. And even though I'm not financially completely prepared, I feel like if I keep waiting, I never will be. You know what I mean? And uh, since YouTube used to make money for me, very little, but now it's not making as much because I'm not having as many people watch. But I mean, I think I could do, I really want to just go for it and try and do campaigns and things like that and get more into YouTube. But anyway, that's totally off subject. Okay, now my, I don't know why I even brought that up. I was just thinking about it and I want to share with you guys. Um, okay, hairspray. This is Keratin Shape Shifter Hairspray. Any hairspray that you like. And I'm gonna just, I like to do this. For some reason, it's all stuck on my lipstick today. Which by the way, I'm using City Lips in Blush Rose. And then I have a little bit of the City Lips Nude Gloss on top and a brown liner. Okay, so now I sprayed. And I'm gonna take a brush or a comb, whatever you want. Where's my brush? I 
have like a big fatty comb. I have this on my Amazon store. Check out my Amazon store, you guys, if you have not. Everything is really good there. And then you just simply start combing through a little bit, not too much. You don't want to pull out the curl. And then my favorite thing is to kind of like make sure you're covering that waffle print in the back. So I like to comb over. Give her a good hairspray. Not this dry shampoo. Give her a good spray there. Up there. Now, all you lucky women with big, thick, curly, wavy, voluminous hair, you're gonna be like, your hair's not that big. But for all you women who have th thin, fine, menopausal hair, you're gonna be like, Samantha, your hair looks big. Exactly, because we have such baby thin hair that even though this might not look big to you, I'm gonna do this. It's big to me. It's big to me, it's big to us, fine, flat haired, menopausal haired women, and it is the volume. The volume, the volume, the volume. So I obviously am gonna put a link below for you guys to pick up the volume, and I have a 10% discount code. Keep checking the description box because sometimes this goes on sale and I'll have a 20% discount code for you, and I'll update the YouTube video when that happens. So in the bottom bar, go ahead and click the link, and then use my discount code for at least 10% off. But again, I said sometimes it does 20% off. This tool, you guys are gonna want it, you guys are gonna love it. I use it all the freaking time. I love the volume and it's so cute. They're coming out with new colors and a smaller version if you guys like something a little bit smaller or have shorter hair. But I kind of like this. This works perfectly for me because it covers a good area of my hair. And then that, my friends, is it. I, what? Like, come on. Like, look at that. It's like, who is she? Who is she? And it actually, like, when you touch it, I think the thing about like faking to look like you have big hair is like when you touch it, it doesn't feel, it just feels like empty. You know what I mean? Only someone with really thin, fine hair would understand what I'm saying. But this actually feels like you have some texture. It actually feels like you have some hair. It's not just like air. But anyway, that is the video. I hope you guys really love it. Here's the volume. I'll also do a link to the Dyson Corral. This bad boy is so expensive. It was gifted to me to di from Dyson, so I can't take credit for me spending all the money on it, but I got it two years ago and it is like beat down. Like it's used every single day by both me and my daughter. Like best, if it was, if I could afford to buy this for 500, I would because it, I use it constantly and it has less heat damage and it's just an all over amazing product with that Dyson technology and then the volume, I'll link everything below. And then I would like you guys to look at my other two videos, specifically the one on um, camouflaging that part right there to make your hair look even thicker. And hope you guys love this video. Like I have scoured the internet. I have scoured YouTube. I watch all the thin, fine haired videos. And really like, I mean, some of the tips and tools, yeah, 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 but nothing really works. Like seriously, if you want volume, you're gonna have to create volume. That's it. You're gonna have to make fake volume with actually making texture in your hair because all the product in the world ain't gonna do it for you. All right, you guys, hope you love this video. It was so fun making this and I would like you guys to subscribe, share this video with some women over 50 who have fine thin menopausal hair so my channel can grow and I can quit my job finally. Oh, let me know, should I just quit? Just quit my job? I won't have insurance. I won't have a, spe um, a paycheck. But like, if you don't go for your dreams, I wanna hear your opinions. All right, you guys, bye. Hi, my name's Samantha and I'm here with Sephora today to do my nighttime skincare routine for skin over 40 and over 50. I wanna get all this off right away. So let's get right into it.